dumb vibes is here to entertain you. Aside being a woman of steel and a woman of virtue, Gogo Skotani has finally fallen off the bus from the hands of South Africans of recent. Of course, she has not been treating her husband in the best of ways and has been cheating on him for the past years with her ex-boyfriend. The same ex-boyfriend she told and, you know, admitted to her husband that it is over between them and the husband decided to actually get married to her. And now this... To the point where she's actually five months pregnant and didn't even realize that she was highly pregnant. And of course, it is for no other person than her ex-boyfriend. In today's video, Gogo Skotani's husband is left in shock after she threatened to do something really bad to him. So do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before I give you all the entire details and information, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. Tumi is a South African Sangoma and a healer popularly known by her stage name Gogo Skotani. Gogo Skotani has been making headlines since the start of her reality TV show Gogo Skotani. Gogo left Mzansi shocked when she introduced her second husband to her main husband. Gogo Skotani's husband was also shocked to see the person that his wife has chosen to be the second husband. Gogo Skotani has actually told her husband that he has to accept him as part of the family unless he doesn't want to actually still be called a husband. Gogo said that it's going to be the three of them and the child too. She also said that she is the one who is going to pay Lobola to Sbusiso. She said that Sbusiso is going to use her sore name. I mean, his sore name is going to fade away. According to Sbusiso, he understood the agreement, but he does not understand the part of changing his own sore name just for another sore name, talk less of a woman's sore name. Sbusiso and Monday are both saying that they are the father of Gogo's child. In the last episode, Gogo Skoteni said that there is a possibility that Monday might not be the father. In the latest episode, she said that Sbusiso is not the father and Monde is the father. What is she actually trying to do? Leaving us in a state of confusion, confusing the men and wanting the men to obligatorily accept that she's about to get married to another husband and both of them are supposed to coexist and cohabitate in the same place. Of course, she wants to partake polyandry, which is not so welcomed in Africa yet, talk less of South Africa. As viewers of the show of Gogo Skoteni, I mean, many people actually saw a lot of negative things in what she is doing. She has been cheating on her husband for so many years. She got pregnant, not even for the husband. Now she wants to get married to the father of the child and saying that the ancestors who actually told her to do so. Why call the ancestors name in things like this? Let's remember that whatsoever thing you believe in is what is going to work out for you if you believe in the ancestors then praying to them is going to work out for you and if you go against their rules then be ready and able to pay the price and if she is lying using the name of the ancestors then the ancestors might definitely get so weird angered and of course they will give us serious and severe punishment for that at the end of it all i don't want to be judgmental about all of these things guys but again she says now finally that the child is not supposed so that a child is Monday's child. Where are we heading to? What is going on? What truth is still left under the bus? You will tell me what you think about this in the comment section.